My name is George Ola and I study macaws here in Tambopata for about seven years now. When I first came to Tambopata, I started to study the nest preferences of two large macaw species, the scarlet macaws and the red and green macaws here at the Tambopata Research Center. And later I continued my uh, studies as a PhD about the population genetics of the same species. For the studies about the nest preferences, of course we need to climb these nests and need to take different measurements like how high they are, uh, what kind of nests they are, like PVC, wooden or natural nest, what are the depths, the measure of the entrance, etc. And we also take uh, data about what species nest in different years in those nests and how many eggs they lay, how many chicks hatch and then eventually how many fledge that the breeding season. So having enough data, enough breeding seasons, we can conclude what kind of nest these species prefer so we can provide or suggest the best artificial nest design for them in the future. For the genetic studies I need to go out to the field, not just around TRC but also in the different river system here in Tambopata. I need to find the major clalics and go there regularly and collect feather samples from that that can serve as a DNA sample from those species and I also uh, look for nests and take uh, blood samples from the chicks. So once I have all this data of the region I can analyze them in a laboratory and using genetic uh, markers I can answer your questions about the population genetics for example what's the genetic diversity uh, what's the status of different populations how isolated they are from each other even estimating population sizes using these genetic techniques Macaws are secondary cavity nesters which means they occupy big hollows in large uh, emergent canopy trees. So right now we are in a 40 meters high canopy tower uh, at the Tambopata River which is just at the canopy level of the forest. The trees are usually between uh, 30, 40, 50 meters high. This tower is about 40. So we are going to try uh, a drone uh, to locate uh, new nests around here. The Tambopata Macaw project in TRC has been going on more than 20 years. So you would think that we know for now everything about macaws, but that's not really true. We just get more and more information, but we also get more and more questions as we develop. So future research could be uh, done about their movements, and there's already an ongoing research about in their uh, movement, uh, tracking them with the satellite telemetry techniques and could also involve other research that would reveal more about their natural history because again here in Tambopata it's a very unique place where we can study these birds while still in a healthy living ecosystem in the Tambopata Basin. <laughs>